the only thing you forgot. <laughs> How many things did you have to remember? Oh, a lot. I had to remember to put the title in. The Girl. In. I had to remember to sit the video straight. Thank you, Brittany. You are amazing, Pastor Brittany. <laughs> Isn't she amazing, Chloe? Hey, Tanisha. What's up? What's up? Hey, BB. Hey, Audrina. Let me make sure I call out some different names today because somebody told me you call the same names every morning. Hi, Sandy. Hi, Master Mom. Hi, Iris. Hi, Juanita. Hi, D. From Japan. Hello, our sister from Japan. How are you? What's up? Good morning. Because, you know, I don't want to be acting like I got favors. I love all y'all. Folks be actually emailing me mad. Tell me you didn't call my name out on the video. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Oh, my goodness. How's everybody this morning? How are all of you amazing people on this Friday? So, what's been up? Mm, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Keisha. Good morning, Carolyn. Kurt and Misty, thank you for joining. They're laughing. Oh, they was, y'all, they were mad. They were like, like, they were like, mm mm, see. They were mad at me, y'all. I was like, oh my goodness, please forgive me. I am so sorry. You are amazing. Yes, you are. You know, <laughs> I mean, I only got, I can't see it all. And then uh, sometimes the comments are delayed. Like, hey, Bestie. My Besties are here this morning. I love you, Bestie. Uh, hi, Erica. Hi, BN Moody. Hi, Evange Angelam. Y'all chew me out on Instagram. Like, y'all, hi, Frank. How you doing, Frank? <laughs> I was about to say, hi, Kelly Elaine. Wait a minute, that's me. <laughs> Brittany, that, that catches me when I see my name. I'm like, who is that? Hola, hola. Come on, stars list. Hmm. Rainy in Georgia. Yeah, it's been rainy this week here, too. Okay, y'all. It's 557. Okay. Walking in wealthy places. I've been saying it all morning because I like how it sounds. And I'm sure I'm going to love how that feels. So I'm just getting it all in my spirit this morning that we are walking in wealthy places. Sandy says, just say shout out to all y'all. I do, and that wasn't enough. She was going off in that email. Hey, Josette. Hey, Leslie. Kiss Jimmy for me on his cheeks. All right. Everybody, see, I don't get mad when y'all start saying, tell Brittany good morning. And y'all looking at me. Look, somebody said, tell Brittany good morning. Brittany. Good morning. Brittany's combing Chloe's hair. You know, we had this talk on yesterday about the hair situation. You know, how I'm not gifted to comb hair, and that's, I've accepted that. It's not my gift. So, and then I was like, Brittany, you got to hurry up. It's <laughs> she got a long way to go with them two puffs. Y'all saw Chloe yesterday. Patrick. Yes. Hello, Patrick. Okay. Y'all ready? Let's tell the Lord we love him. Y'all ready? And thank y'all so much for your support on the prayer link yesterday. I'll talk about that in a minute, how the video vanished for a whole hour. So, leave it around myself. Hold on. I might still forget, so I wrote it down. All right, let's say the Lord thank you. Good morning, everyone who's coming on. Good morning. Share the video, Facebook Warriors. Hi, Tangela. How's your mom doing? Share the video, please. Um, Lord, we just thank you this morning. He's good, y'all. Let's tell him. Woo, it's Friday, too. Oh, and we got a holiday weekend. Oh, yes, Lord. Yes, thank you, Jesus. And it's my first day. Uh, no longer working full time. I'm so happy about it. Oh, thank you, Jesus. We're happy. So we thank you, Father, for your goodness. We thank you that you will provide for all of us, Lord, that we don't have to worry about it. You will provide. Lord, we honor you today. We bless you today. We thank you for breathing new air into our lungs today. We thank you that we are walking into our wealthy places. Speaking over your life this morning, y'all, we're going to be talking about this all video long. Lord, that we are walking into a season of just unexpected blessings and uncommon grace and favor. That you're opening doors for us, God, and we are walking into wealthy places as Jabez did. We're so thankful that you saw fit to teach us this Holy Spirit, which means it must be an on-time word for this season we are entering in. So therefore, we thank you. Everywhere that our feet tread shall be prosperous. Everywhere that we go, we shall experience prosperity. Everything that we set out our hands to do, set our hands to do, shall be prosperous. We thank you for even the ideas that you're dropping into our spirits, Lord, as we execute those ideas. They too shall be prosperous. Father, we thank you that in you there is more than enough. We honor you, Father. Thank you for this day. Thank you for our time together. Please bless it. We honor you. Holy Spirit, have your way. You're our teacher and you are excellent. We yield to you this morning. Uh, give us hearts that will obey your instructions. We love you, Father. Just send me love them. We love you, Lord. And we thank you for this time together that you brought the warrior nation back together again, shoulder to shoulder before your throne, walking in love and unity. We know that you love that, God. And so we thank you for this time. We are walking in our wealthy places. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Warriors, 
You're walking in your wealthy place. Get in your spirit. Hey, y'all seen that other phone so I can tell them the weather? Yeah, it's right there under the blanket. Oh. <clears throat> My miracle throw. Hold on, y'all. I got to exit the exit the set. No, Brittany's going to hand it to me. Ooh, she threw it at me. I didn't no. throw it. Y'all heard it, did you? <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Y'all excited this morning? Type it. Walking in our wealthy places. Let me see that breast cancer shirt, too. Okay, here's the weather. I'm just using my app now. It's easier. All right, right now, 67 degrees, Jasmine, Mississippi, with clear skies. Uh, sunny today. Sunrise at 6.35 a.m., sunset at 724 p.m. The wind is coming out southeast at one mile per hour, so it's not going to be windy like yesterday. It was really windy yesterday. And the high today will be 85. So right now, 67, making us think it was going to be cooler today. Not so. High of 85. That's our weather forecast. Yeah. Okay. A lot of you guys started getting these yesterday. And this is this is our breast cancer awareness shirt. Um, it is this is a unisex shirt. It's for our guys and our girls. So y'all get this shirt in um in October, which is next month, because today is September 1st. We're gonna get these out to you. Uh, they've been pre-ordered, so we actually have them in stock, and we're going to get these out to you, and we want you guys to wear them like all next month and post pictures, and we're going to be featuring uh, breast cancer survivors and those who are currently going through the battle, and they will survive. We're going to be featuring you guys as our warriors of the day, because men and women can have breast cancer, so we're going to be featuring you guys as our warrior of the day, and also any warriors that are representing this shirt, um, we're going to share you as well on the days we don't have a breast cancer um, survivor or warrior. Uh, wearing the shirt so we want to see you guys in these shirts and we want you to post them so that we can share the pictures and it's a really nice shirt really really nice so you, you guys already started ordering those yesterday so thank you okay so one more thing as we walk into our wealthy places Brittany said today is what Brittany she never gives a straight answer come whenever Brittany gets this out come closer <laughs> so we can hear you come I'll share. Come tell them what today is. You know it's hard for us to get our hair in here together, so hold uh -huh. on a second. What you wearing, Brittany? Oh, this is my item. Here's it. Okay. There's like the it? camera. Oh, yeah. She I'll show them where to look still. Brittany, don't start this morning. I'm stalling. I apologize. Anyway, today is National Miracle Throw Day. I'm sorry. We couldn't hear you. National Miracle Throw Day. Sorry. What's that mean? It means you should get your miracle throws today. <laughs> Yeah, and we're sending that order in today. Today, so please order this. What time you say? Oh, you. By, uh, I, I don't think they close to six. Order this by five today. By five o'clock today. Today. But you getting mighty order. comfortable with my blanket. And then you will receive your miracle throw in about four weeks. Thank but you, yeah, Brittany. Be sure to order your throw. Don't you love it? Today. Today. <laughs> Thank you, Brittany. You're welcome. Don't don't try to take my throw with you. Get your hands off of it. She still got her hands on it, y'all. Okay, yeah. Order your throws today. Um, we are gonna order a few extra, but that's just gonna go to the people who just get it in in time for for you to get the extras. So we are gonna order some extras. Um, and also we'll look to do another order in about two weeks, but it's gonna depend on how many people order over the next two weeks because we have to meet a minimum order requirement. So with that being said, she said today is Miracle Throw Day. I was like, it's National Miracle Throw Day. Um, we're excited about it, y'all. You guys are gonna love them. And so we want to order more than enough because we'll make sure everybody gets some and then those who like didn't know about it and all that. But like I said, we I think November 15th is gonna probably be the last day we can order them, period, because it takes four weeks to get them in, it's gonna run into Christmas. I mean the orders will continue after that, but if you're trying to get them particularly in time for Christmas, um, then we'll have to order get them in from by November the fifteenth. We'll order again before then, probably two more times, but I'm just saying like so that you guys don't get mad at me if you don't have your throw by Christmas, you gotta go ahead. This is a great Christmas gift and you don't have to stand in line or anything. It's, we're gonna ship this thing to you. So with that being said, I, I personally think it's worth it. That's what everybody's getting on my Christmas list. So and it's a great gift. I love throws and blankets and I use them year round. So a lot of you a lot of you guys have already ordered and we thank you for doing it early because if you know I already know how many to order. And y'all have been mad at me. If I had just guessed and ordered some, y'all have been upset. So thank you for um, doing the pre-order so that we can have an idea of how many we needed. And so you guys, we're going to send that first order in today. And in four weeks, we'll have them back and we'll get to shipping them out to y'all. So if you plan, they said bringing you a burst of sunshine. Thank you. That's so sweet. So anyway, with that being said, we're going to jump into First Chronicles 4, uh, 9 and 10 one more time. The Prayer of Jabez. Um, 
But I was about to tell y'all something. The prayer link. Thank you for supporting us yesterday on the prayer link. The video fell off Facebook for a whole hour. Like after we hit, after we published the video, it disappeared in case y'all didn't notice. So even with it disappearing for an hour, it still got almost, it's almost to 40,000 views. So thank you for that. I mean, literally it was gone. The Facebook took it down and then they put it back up. A whole hour went by. So thank you. You know, the enemy's always after us in the prayer link, but that's how we know we're on to something. So hang with us with this prayer link. It's only going to get better. Yesterday, I feel like it was one of our best shows. It was really, really good. It was um, interesting and it was excellent. And then, the, and then look, it was taken down for a whole hour. So with that being said, thank you guys for your old women's support for that. Today is my first day um, as a part-time employee on my job, and I'm I'm so tired. I'm not even scared. I'm so happy. I'm just I just want to go to bed. And so Brittany uh, resigned completely. So this is her first day as a free woman, and we just trust God that He's going to provide. And like I said, I haven't slept good like like a for real sleep in like a year and a half. And so the first thing I'm doing today is going back to bed. And when I get up and I'm energized, we're going to start on your orders. We'll be working on your orders today, tomorrow, Monday. I mean, straight through all day. So we're going to get a lot done over these next few days. So don't even take your fingers and email. Give us a minute. Give us a minute because we're going to get the rest of them out. And after this, we're going to have a better grip on things because now we have made the adjustments on our job uh, to get the orders out. And I really want to thank you guys for your patience because it has been a challenge. We were working around the clock, but half of the clock was taken up with being at work. So now that we're able to devote more time to it, it is going to get better. Thank you, y'all. I'm not even scared about provision. I'm tired. I had to let it go because I just could not do it anymore. And like I said, I'm training a student through December, and I don't know if I'll even continue at all after December. It's whatever the Lord says. So I thank you guys for that. I love you. We're, we're living this thing out right in front of y'all. We're living this faith walk out right in front of y'all. You know, not knowing what the future holds, but but knowing who holds our future. Know who holds your future. And the one who holds your future is the same one that will allow you to walk into your wealthy place. Yes, glory to God. I said, glory to God. Glory to God. So with that being said, let's jump in um, to First Chronicles. Ladies, you want to register for the Women's Conference? Go ahead. It's in like five weeks. And we're going to be over there in New Orleans. And we're going to we're gonna have a great time. And I'm excited about it. All right. Let's go. First Chronicles 4, 9 and 10. We know this prayer now. Anybody remember the four things that consist of, that the prayer consists of? Uh, she said, I love your perception. Brittany's first day as a free woman. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. So, y'all, do y'all remember the, the four components of Jabez's prayer? If you do, type them in. What were the four things? Uh, thank you. What are the four things that Jabez, um, his prayer consisted of? Consider my phone won't turn on. Let me go to the iPad. Glad I have backup around here. Boy, tell you. Oh, it's dead. Give me something else. Yep. Isn't it funny? Mm. Wonder why it's not pulling up. Not that we don't know it by heart, but I did want to read it. Hold on. Oh, I got a Bible in. Oh my goodness! Bring it out, then. Hold on, y'all. I gotta go. Oh, I gotta get the page turned out now. The phone's just right here. It's not saying a word. It's <laughs> funny. First Chron oh yeah, get old faithful out. Yeah. Hold on a minute, I gotta go old school. Type it in, walking in my wealthy place. Walking in my wealthy place. Thank you. Oh, she did it. Bless me, enlarge my territory. So y'all look good. Bless me, enlarge my territory, strengthen my hands, and protect me from evil and harm. Yes, that is it. Y'all, I feel like for real. Oh, y'all better watch out. I got the 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 page turning out today. Faithful, faithful right here. Oh my goodness. Yes, Lord. I ain't going to tell y'all what name on this one. That's how old this Bible is. <laughs> it was a former name. <laughs> okay, here we go. First Chronicles 4. Woo! Jabez. This is a good one, too. It's the, um, I forgot what you call it, but more than one version in one. It's like the dual translation. So I'm going to read from the Amplified today. Okay, here we go. Four, First Chronicles 4, 9 and 10. Jabez was honorable above his brothers, but his mother named him Jabez, sorrow maker saying, because I bore him in pain. 10. Jabez cried to the God of Israel, saying, Oh, that you would bless me and enlarge my border, and that your hand might be with me, and you would keep me from evil, so it might not hurt me. And God granted his request. So today we're talking about the success of his prayer. The success of Jabez's prayer. Y'all got it. Y'all got this prayer. They writing it in. Y'all got Y'all not going to forget this, are you? Share the video, Facebook Warriors. Come on. We just said 2.9 over here. Where everybody at this morning? 
What time is it? 16. Okay, everybody need to wake up and get on here now. Okay, why was his prayer so successful? Because I was just analyzing this morning. I was asking Thad and Brittany. I was like, okay, let's name all the reasons why we think it was successful. They weren't saying a whole lot, but I was talking. And I was like, okay, you ain't saying nothing. We said Jabez was a man of prayer. We know that. Okay? I said he was more honorable than his brothers. We know that. Uh, it says he prayed to the God of Israel. That means he knew who God was. Not a little G, but a big G. He was in covenant with the God of Israel. We know that. I said, we know that he was born in great sorrow. His name meant sorrow maker. How would you like that if your name meant sorrow maker? Like, hello, sorrow maker. Like, my goodness, give me a chance at least. That was his name because his mother bore him in so much pain and sorrow. But what I put, my name, Kelly, some of you guys share my amazing name. My name actually means warrior. So even though my mom named me that for another reason, God had a reason for why he named me warrior. And I'm thankful for that. And I've grown into that name. But his name was Sorrow Maker. And what I like about this, this is the whole revelation the Holy Spirit gave me today, is that he didn't allow the opinions of other people to stop him. Like his name meant sorrow. He knew what his name meant. But he didn't go around saying, oh, I'm a sorrow maker. That's just all I'm going to be in life because that's what my mama named me. That's all I'm going to become. Nope. He was like, Lord, I want you to bless, bless me and increase me and enlarge my territory. So he didn't allow what other people thought of him or how other people spoke of him to dictate who he was going to become. I said, man, Jabez is smart. Like, I know, mama, you named me Sorrow Maker, but I'm going to tell you what, I'm going to bring you joy. I'm going to bring joy to this family. I'm going to go against the odds and be something and be prosperous because he knew who he was praying to. He knows that God, no matter what obstacles you've been through, God has the ability to turn it around. So I thought that was good revelation. Born in great sorrow, but he was an overcomer. His name meant sorrow. I put God was always ready to hear his prayers. Always. God is always ready to hear our prayers. I put he was strategic in prayer. Remember, I talked about it on yesterday, how Moses, nothing's wrong with that because we're asking for it every day, for strong hands so that we can be strong for the church, strong for our family, strong for the community. He asked God to rest his hand upon him, but really we asked for both. But in doing that, he knew that if God would just rest his hands upon him, the rest is history. I mean, like, seriously, how could you be sick or broke or depressed if the hand of God was resting upon you? How could Solomon have been broke and busted if he had all, if he was the wisest man on earth? He couldn't be because he would have the wisdom to know how to obtain the wealth and how to handle it. So instead of asking for, for wealth and things like that, he asked for wisdom. Same with your best. You know, God, you don't really have to make me strong if you put your hand upon me because then I'm walking in your strength. I love the strategies that, that these men and women of the Bible use. It had to be by the Holy Spirit because no man could have revealed that to them. Like, how would you know to pray for that? How would you know to pray for that the Holy Spirit did not reveal it to you? But guess what? We only had to figure it out. It's right here in the Word. I'm so thankful for it. So, he was strategic in prayer. Daniel was strategic in prayer. Daniel knew to pray three times a day, no matter come hell or hot water. You know what? I don't care what y'all talking about. I don't care how many decrees you issue. Uh, at a certain time of the day, I'm going before my father. Period. But those are strategies, y'all. Consistency is the key. That's why we do this, whether it's a holiday, birthday, Christmas. We do it every day. You know why? Because there is a success in consistency. There is success in consistency. Anybody that's successful, they have a pattern. They're not just willy-nilly around, just laxing days around doing what they want to do. They have prayer habits. They have work ethics, whether they're working for themselves or for someone else. They're not just freestyling around and successful. No, it takes consistency. Yes, Crystal, the power of prayer. We want our territories enlarged, but we got to pay attention to this this foundation behind this prayer and how he got results. I love this. Can't y'all tell? Like, this excites me like so much. Oh my God, it's so fun. Okay. And then it says, God placed his hands upon him and made him strong. And then I said about the prayer of Moses. Okay, so that's all my thing. And then I got walking in wealthy places. For real, for real. <laughs> walking in wealthy places. A com One of the commentaries says, the Lord prospered him remarkably. Don't you want people to say that about you? Like, oh, that's sister so-and-so, that's brother so-and-so. Man, have you heard what God did in her life or in his life? The Lord has prospered them remarkably. I was like, oh, Lord, prosper the warrior nation remarkably. Remarkably, God, to where when people see us, like those are some blessed praying folks over there. That's what we want, y'all. But it takes consistency. It does. It takes a heart for God for real. We have to keep praying, y'all. We have to keep studying this word. If we don't do anything else, we're going to get up every morning. We're going to do this because we're seeing the results. Faith is being increased. And it says God honored his request. 
out of all so it's like when we say oh i've been dealt a bad hand and god can do anything with me y'all the man was named sorrow maker i mean how much more difficult can it be if you were born in sorrow and then every day of your life somebody called you that to remind you of what you were born in yet god blessed him and he has he has gone down in history as the prayer of Jabez, the man who prayed and God blessed him. This is the prayer that we pray for prosperity and abundance. But this is the same baby that was born and named Sorrow Maker. So it doesn't matter what your story is. Y'all know how jacked up my story is. We don't even have to talk about that today. But y'all already know it's messed up. It was. It was messed up. But God has written a new chapter in my life. You know? And he do the same for you. And my thing is, so don't wallow around in self-pity. Don't get so upset about the mistakes you've made or the bad hand that you were dealt or how your childhood was. Because if Jabez can make it out. If David can make it out, come on now. His daddy didn't even remember he had him. Can it get any worse than that? Your, your daddy sets all your brothers down for a feast. Somebody's about to be anointed as king. And they didn't even care enough to bring you in from the pastor when you were over there dealing with the sheep. Like, but God lifted him. And look, David has gone down in history as a man who was after God's own heart. Isn't that, isn't that phenomenal? Esther, don't get me started this morning. All these things we've studied. Esther, an a orphan. And God lifted her up with her, her uncle, Mordecai, for a time such as what she was in and allow her to save a whole nation of people. Somebody wasn't supposed to make her way into the castle for selection. She wasn't, she was a foreigner with no parents, nothing, had nothing. Ruth, oh my goodness, Ruth, broke, husband died, no children, hanging out with her mother-in-law. I mean, who even does that? She did like that, to stick with her mother-in-law like that. But she had destiny in her that she had to tap so my whole point is yes we have sad stories because i can have y'all cry y'all know i can talk about my mama now everybody be crying I ain't gonna do that to y'all today i've had other things in my life of course that was the most dramatic my mom my dad but um i overcame it by the power of god i know you guys have been through some things this morning but don't you know you can still walk in your wealthy place don't you know you can be busted today and god can lift you by in the morning like he did it for jabez we don't know how long it took but we know he did it your, your present circumstance does not dictate your future prosperity. Ooh, write that in. Oh, what did I say? Help me. Your present circumstance does not dictate your future prosperity. Man, that's from the Holy Spirit. Breathe. Don't let me forget that. Say it again. Your present circumstances does not dictate your future prosperity. We're going to hang in here, y'all. We're going to take God at his word. We're going to keep praying. Hallelujah. Type that in. That's a word. I didn't, I didn't come up with it. The Holy Spirit dropped it in. I, I can't take credit. But just know that your present circumstances are not dictated because I'm telling you, God can turn around overnight. He can give you one idea that will set you up for life. He can. One business idea, one breakthrough that can set you up for life and it doesn't require you to have to win the lottery to get there. God can do it, y'all. You can walk in your wealthy place. We don't have to, you know, we don't have to play the lottery to get there. I say, oh, if I could just win the lottery. I feel lucky today. Nothing ever happened. Because, see, that's that's the easy way out. You know, if, you, if people play the lottery, I don't have nothing to do with that. That's, that's whoever's doing that. But what I'm saying is, the treasures of heaven, God is telling us how to have it right here in his word. He loves us just that much. Brittany said, mm-hmm. But he does. He loves us just that much. That's right. They're writing it in. My present circumstances does not dictate my future prosperity. And we will, and we are walking into wealthy places. Let's pray. I'm excited. That's a good word. I'm going to be speaking. I got to put it on my mirror in my bathroom that my present circumstances don't dictate my future prosperity. There was a prayer, and I got to start by praying this. Let me tell y'all something. There was a prayer that I was praying two years ago. I don't know, Brittany, if I told you about it or not. But I used to say, thank you, Father, that my annual salary has become my monthly salary. We should pray that. We should pray that. Yeah, I used, I used to pray, and I need to start back. That my, considering, I'm going to say my used to be annual salary, which you know my, my salary has been cut in half now. <laughs> but my annual salary uh has now become my monthly salary like i'm speaking that into existence y'all is look so the thing is when you speak it that way don't get hung up in how that's gonna happen because you're gonna mess the whole thing up and you, it's not gonna happen because you don't have the faith because you're trying to figure out how like of course i pray that like crazy prayer but i believe it and i'm gonna start by speaking over my life every single day that my annual salary my used to be annual salary it changed today will become my monthly salary because god is even bigger than that so do not let your present circumstance dis dictate your future prosperity. Know that you are walking to your wealthy place. I don't care how hard it is today. I want you to declare it over your life. I'm walking in my wealthy place. It's not some kind of gimmick or anything like that. This is the word. He did it for Jabez. I believe he'll do it for us. We're going to speak it out of our mouth. Especially we're going to do the right thing with the increase. Let's go into prayer. Y'all share the video. 
Yes, Thomasine, today is the smallest it will ever be in my life. There it is. Oh, y'all got it this morning. My annual salary is now my monthly salary. Like, this is not some kind of get rich quick gimmicky type thing. I'm not telling y'all to do anything but speak it. There's no harm in believing it because guess what? Do you know God has done that for plenty of people? Do you realize that he's done more than that for plenty of people? He has given them way more than that. So why not ask for it? Why does everybody else have to be walking around and living good and then the Christian people have to struggle and be broke and saying, Lord, you just give me just enough. No, he has enough, y'all. It's nothing for God to do it. He did it for Jabez. He made him strong in war and in work. He made him remarkably prosperous. He shamed those who gave him their name by lifting him up and blessing him. He would do the same for you. We're walking in our wealthy places. Type it in. Type it in. Y'all write that down and put it on your mirror. That my annual salary is now my monthly salary. And when it happens, like it did for our one sister, our one sister who already emailed and said, you know, she got fired from a job. She slept day and night in her miracle shirt. And then within four months time, she had made over $500,000 in her own business after getting fired from her nine to five. She launched her own staffing agency and she is now probably, well, that was a month ago. I'm sure it's more than $500,000 now in four months time. Y'all, God can do that. She got fired. She could have been around here depressed. I got fired. I lost my job. So, okay, guess I better go do what I was destined to do anyway. Step out there. What do you have to lose? You already got fired. It doesn't take money. I already told you I didn't have any money. All I had was a picture of a shirt, a picture of what it would be like if somebody, whosoever will, would order the shirt. And look what God has done with the I Believe in Miracles line. And look at all the miracles that have come from it. So it doesn't take money because I didn't have a dime. I, I'm going to say that forever because that's the truth. I didn't have anything when I did that shirt. All I had was the 55 Well, I didn't have that because they let me pay them that later. The $55 to set it up. Like, I didn't have that. And the, I just said, look, God gave this idea to me. And by the time we print this shirt, I'll, have, I'll give you the $55. So, yeah, $55, $55. So we can't say what God would not do if somebody would just step out of the boat and do what God is telling you to do. And stop trying to play it safe. Use wisdom. But you get what I'm saying. Let's go into prayer. Father, we thank you this morning. We are walking in our wealthy places as the warrior nation. God, we thank you because we know that it takes strength and wealth uh, to advance your kingdom, to evangelize the gospel. So, Father, we thank you. We thank you for this word today, the prayer of Jabez, God. And we ask you to enlarge us and to bless us, Father, to place your hand upon us and keep us safe from hurt, harm, and pain. God, I ask you to go before the warrior nation now and make every rugged path smooth, every crooked place straight, and bring every high place low. We open our mouths. Y'all said out of your mouths this morning. I am walking in my wealthy place. I said again. I am walking in my wealthy place. I am walking in my wealthy place place. Father, we thank you for this morning. As we step out into this dark and perilous world today, we arm up with your full armor, with the bed of truth around our waist, with the helmet of salvation, with the breastplate of righteousness. We were sandals of peace. We carry that shield of faith and the sword of the spirit, which is your word. Lord, we thank you for examples like this in 1 Chronicles 4, 9 and 10 to where we can see how you prosper someone and we can actually copy that pattern. And Lord, we just thank you for this revelation in your word that is so precious to us, Lord. And this is how we fight against the lies of the enemy who says we'll never be prosperous, who says will always be barbels, who says will always be broken, busted. No, God, we stand on your word today. We ask you to increase us, to bless us, to rest your hand upon us, and to keep us free from our hurt, harm, and danger. God, we know that you are a healer, and we thank you for Avery's healing. Thank you for her restoration. We thank you for Jordan's healing and restoration, that he is a mouthpiece for you. Lord, we thank you for Jahai and Shania, God, they are healthy and strong. We don't care what it looks like. We're standing on your word today, Father, to speak things that are not as though they are. We thank you, God, that it is faith that pleases you, God, and we thank you for it this morning. Lord, for baby Gabriel uh, and Mariah Grace, that they are healthy and strong. And Father, for the life of Monica Seif, we will not forget, Lord, her death was not in vain. There was a higher purpose in it. And God, we ask you to just bring peace and comfort uh, to the Sykes family. Lord, every morning she's still getting on here with us. She's still praying. She's still interceding. She's still praying for her children. So God, please bless her children and just let them see the good in this. Just let them know that you have a purpose and plan for their lives as well and god we thank that justice will be served in this situation god every prayer request that has come in y'all if you got a petition you haven't typed it in yet type it in i thank you god that the warriors are walking in their wealthy places I thank you, God, that no weapon formed against them shall prosper. I thank you, Father, that today they will experience breakthroughs and deliverance, uh, promotions, debt cancellation, unexpected checks in the mail, refunds and credits, God, that you're opening doors for the warriors because they're making that sacrifice. They're getting up with me. They're being consistent in prayer. They're praying bigger and bolder. Their faith has been increased. And God, we know that you can do so much with that. So we thank you, Father for the blessings that are resting upon this nation of believers who take you at your word and exercise radical faith. We honor you this morning. 
We are walking in our wealthy places. We believe it this morning. We declare it. Our annual salaries are becoming our monthly salaries. Somehow, we don't know how, that's up to you. But we thank you for it, God. It is in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Did I get everything? Okay, make sure you register for the I Am Woman Conference. It's right around the corner. Hey, today is national. I got on the Miracle Throw hoodie. I'm just all miracle down the day because I'm believing God for a miracle. Get your throws, y'all. I got to get that order in today. We will be ordering some extra, but I don't know how many extra. So don't count on the extras. Um, and like I say, don't, if you're not able to get it today, don't panic. We'll do another order. As long as we meet our minimum order requirement, we'll do another one in about two weeks. We'll keep doing them every two weeks or so. But like I said, I think November 15th will be the cutoff. We'll keep ordering them, but if you're trying to get them by Christmas, it's best that we order before November the 14th, 15th. I love you guys very much. You guys have a blessed day. I am going back to bed. Uh, and when I get up, we'll be back praying over you guys and getting your orders out. Love you so much. Get your miracle throws. Have a great day. Love y'all. I get it, Brittany? Okay. Bye. Yes, Lord, our territories have been enlarged. Amen, Mickey. That's right. That's right. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Love y'all.